Welcome to This Is The Day. It is Wednesday, April 29th, mm -hmm. and this is the day that the Lord has made. So we're going to make it a great day. It may not be the day you picked or the day you would have drawn up, but, but it's, it's the today. day you've got. So let's make it a great day. I'm Bo Chancy, and with me always is... Good morning! Whoa, you are not Drew Crisp! I'm not Drew Crisp. I am Johanna Beachy. You are Johanna Beachy, our family life pastor at MCC, the one, the only, the That's incomparable. Right. Yep. Woo. Johanna. Johanna Beachy. Here in the house with you guys. We are glad to have you. We've been looking I forward to this. I wanted to be here. Yeah. I have too. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So, uh, yeah, Drew Crisp, uh, let's face it, we all got tired of his laugh. <laughs> the giggle was just too much. The giggle. It'll be back. Yeah, just, it's got to be. You got to have the giggle. It'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. We just needed a day. One day. One day. This is the day. Drew needed a day, so we've been looking forward to having Johanna uh, come in and fill in guest host. So welcome, Johanna. Thank you. Everybody, all, everybody joining us right now is like, yes, this is going to be a great I'm day. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Yeah. So good morning, yeah. Johanna. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Hey, Johanna, you watch the show. I do, yeah. Do you share the show? I have shared the show. I have. Yeah, you have, yep. haven't you? Because mm -hmm. it's a good thing to share. share. You know, we teach kids that. Share. Sharing is caring. Share the show. Yeah. And uh, I was kind of hoping you'd bring a corporate sponsor uh, to the show. Right. But. Uh, I'm working on it. You... I've got a few leads. Yeah, until yeah. then, you should share the show. <laughs> yes, just share the show. And then maybe we'll get more leads for corporate sponsors yeah. through you guys sharing the show. Exactly. Yeah, and the more people get to see the show, more people will be encouraged, inspired, That's and right. uh, they'll make it a great day. This is the day. This is the day. It's going to be awesome. So thank you, Johanna. Thank you all of you for joining us. Uh, so glad you're with us. Okay. Okay. Johanna? Yes, Bo. What did you do last night? Last night. Last night was Tuesday night. It was, yeah. Let's see. After I finished work, I went for a little walk outside with my roommate. We have a trail in our house that we really like. So went for a little walk, been outside a lot. Um, and then I went, so our Concord campus is doing this really cool thing called Eat Local Week, where they're, they're going to, you know, encourage people, if you can, go eat at a local restaurant. So I'm like, I can do that. That's something I can do, pick a local restaurant. So last night I was like, I'm going to get some Pad Thai, some Thai food, oh, right? Thai food. Love, Love Pad Thai. Love some Thai food. Thai food is delicious. But the, the restaurant that I know that's got the best Pad Thai is out in Dover. I'm like, let me try a closer one. So I went and found one nearby. Here's the thing. I need to be clear about this. I have nothing against white guys in general. But when you go to a Thai restaurant and it's a white guy behind the counter giving you your Thai food, it's not a good sign. It's not good? It's not a good sign. No. The food was a little bit disappointing. Fortunately, though, okay, it got better. It picked up from there. So as I went to get this food, I was like, I'm going to go back the scenic route, go back, you know, the back way and drive by this area that I used to go all the time. And I don't do this very often. I don't indulge in reminiscing. I'm not like a very nostalgic person, <laughs> you know. I don't traipse down memory lane very often. But I decided to do that. And I went by the building that I used to work at before I worked at MCC. Oh. Yeah. And it was kind of fun. It was like I got to go look at where I used to go work. It was the dialysis clinic where I used to work, which anyone watching from Manchester Kidney Center, we love you guys. We're cheering for you. We're supporting you. So that was kind of cool. That was a fun part of my eating. So that's what I did last oh, night. Yeah. yeah. Got to like reminisce about where I used to work. That's cool. Bo. Yes. What did you do last night? Well, we'll get to that. But first of all, I, I just need to comment. Okay. I do love the pad okay. thai. Yes. And I, I will also say, and I'll take your recommendations, I've been here 10 years. I've yet to have what I would call like good pad thai. Apparently you have to go to Dover. Okay, I'm not, yeah. I'm not down, I'm not sure if I'm down with, I don't know where Dover is. Unless someone else knows of a closer one. Maybe someone watching Somebody knows, knows, knows like a good, good place to get it. The only one I know is called Cow Poons in, okay. in Dover, New Hampshire. Yeah, I mean, hey, any pad thai is, is still enjoyable. Yes. I, I like yes. it, it's, it's just like, something's a little, just, a little I, I think little my expectations were high. Yeah. And, Okay, yeah. I understand anyway. that. Sure, we had some. Uh, we ordered local. Okay. Um, we had. I had a uh, spicy tuna roll, mm. which was delicious, mm -hmm. and uh, some yep. vegetable uh, tempura. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Don't usually yeah. do a lot of fried stuff, but I, yeah. I do like the vegetable tempura. 
Love the and, vegetables. Uh, yeah, Liza wouldn't pick that up for us. She made, uh, uh, my oldest daughter, she also made homemade banana pudding for us. Ooh, go Liza. Yeah, I didn't eat it, but I tasted it. It was delicious. She did a good uh. job, yeah. So she's, she's been in the kitchen like a mad scientist. Does Liza enjoy cooking? She, I think she really does. She likes to, nice. to experiment and make All stuff. Right. So she did that. So we, we did that last night. Uh, but I had to go to the grocery store yesterday. Okay. Have you done this? Have gone you, to the grocery store. Yeah, been, I have. It's an excursion now. It is. You know, the waiting, yes. in, the waiting in line. Yep. Uh, you know, all the, you know, the... The, the eye one, contact in the aisle with Yeah, people. the one, well, the one-way aisles. Yes. I actually like those. I'm good. I'm, I'm trying, like, I am real. like, the I... The flow of traffic is just clear. Yeah, I'm trying to obey all the things mm -hmm. and, and do all the things, because mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't want a confrontation. In this, I don't need yeah. that. I mean, it yeah. is hard for me wearing a mask. I feel like a bandit, so yeah. I kind of, I <laughs> yeah. kind of want to do something sketchy. But Here to rob I'm not. The place. I'm not. Yeah, uh, you know, it's it's fun for me. But uh, so I was doing the the whole thing. And some of the aisles, though, they don't like at one end. They don't have it marked, and so I'm like, yeah. okay. And then I'm going down, and then I find I see one. I'm like, oh, or what do have, I do? Like you usually go down this way, down this aisle, and now you need to remember not to. Right. Like, do I make a U turn? Uh -huh. Is this a three point uh -huh. turn in the yeah. aisle with my cart? Do yeah. I have to beep when I back up? Or what if you want something that's right at that end of the aisle, but you're not supposed to go down that way? Here's, I'll tell you what I do, and I think this is universal. You okay. park the cart, okay. Okay. you park it. Park uh -huh. the cart, dart. Park and dart. Dart in the aisle. It's the park and dart. Park and dart. You park it's, the cart, That's a good strategy. You dart. I'm going to try that next yeah, time. Yeah, park and dart. Park and dart. Yeah. Trademark by there this is go. the day. Park and dart. <laughs> it's the park and dart. Okay. Now, the, all of that just to say. If you're looking for a way to really make a cashier mad, uh -oh. ask for paper bags. Oh. Man, did I get a look yesterday. Now, I always get did a look. Did you get paper bags, though? Yeah, I did okay. get paper bags because okay. I hate plastic bags. And I Same. know there's probably some reason why I should love yeah. plastic. I just don't no. like them. I don't want things. It's too many bags. It's just yeah. I can go... Five paper bags and for 10,000 plastic you bags. You get paper bags and then suddenly there's more. Yeah, the, the plastic or the paper? Yeah, plastic. Yeah, the plastic, yeah. yeah. There's too many. Too yeah. many plastic bags. I don't like them. I don't want them. You know, and, and then even my paper bags, I'm like taking stuff out like while they're, and I'm putting them in, like, mm -hmm. let's fill this bad boy up a little bit. Right. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I asked for the paper bags and, whoo, man, I was like, sorry, special request. I'll... I'll pay double. What I, do you need? I tried to bring reusable bags. You can't do that. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Not and I love how, anymore. too, at the grocery store, they, you know, they, 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 they call out Governor Sununu on that do one. Do they? They do. It says there, Governor Sununu said. The governor <laughs> has decreed. You can't use these are your the own bags. bags. You can use. Like, come on. Just, you can't do it. That's fine. I don't know why we got to. All right. All right. So, yeah, uh, that's what I did. And then, uh, last thing. Uh, the mechanic who rebuilt my scout, Sean uh -huh, Collins, uh -huh. great friend, great awesome. Great guy. Yeah, I love he, Sean. I love Sean, too. Sean he Collins. He came by to pick up the scout. Okay. He said so he could change the oil uh -huh. and get it ready for the you season. You usually have to take it for a drive to change the oil, right? You usually have to take it for about a week, I think. <laughs> uh, so the scout's on a little play date. <laughs> okay. With, uh, All right. with well, Sean I mean, Collins. It's in good hands with Sean. No, I love it. Yeah. Lo I love seeing him drive yep. out in it. it. He used to work on my car. It's yeah. not as cool as the Scout, though. No, no. no. Scout's special. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's time for our verse of the yes. day from the Uversion Bible app. Do you use the Uversion Bible app? I do. App? Me too. I do. We I'm encourage, excited. Yeah, we encourage all of you guys to, to download this. Our verse of the day today is found in Psalm 56, verse 3. It says, oh. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Mm. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. So it's a Psalm That's of David. Good. So David, King David, yep. wrote a lot of the Psalms. Uh, he wrote this particular Psalm apparently when he was, uh, had been captured by the Philistines. So he had reason to be afraid. He had, I mean, like big time, like yeah. big time. I mean, it, by the way, I think there's always evidence to support our fear. Oh, yeah. You so can find I, some. Yeah, have you heard the, the acronym people use that, you know, uh, false evidence appearing real? They'll say that's what fear is, false All evidence. Right. well. I don't well, know that it's false. No, I don't, uh, most of the time, probably not. Yeah, like, yeah. It, I, if you're fear, there's probably some legitimate threat. I mean, the Philistines were real. Yeah, Philistines were real. He'd been captured. Hmm. Okay. Uh, but what he writes is to God, he says, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. So good. Yeah, and so, like, I've been thinking a lot about courage and stuff. Courage isn't not being afraid. Courage is, is choosing to act in the face of our fear. Yes. Yeah. 
It is. Yeah. I love that. That's true. That cool we need verse? to hear that right now. I want you to I have, like that. I want you to have our card for the day, that, that verse. There you go. There verse you go. of the day. It's the verse. From of, this is the day. From this is the day. Keepsake. Yeah. Right there. Keepsake from your first day guest from hosting. From my first guest hosting. And that and what, the other thing I love about like the verse of the day that we're chewing mm -hmm. on there is anybody can can read that, apply it, think about it. Yeah. Any age, Anyone. anybody. Mm -hmm. From a kid five years old up to 95. Yeah. All of us. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. That's and good. A lot, That's a good one. I know. There's a, lot, there's a lot to be afraid of right now. I love that. But we put our trust in God. Mm -hmm. He is able. It's a choice. Right on. Man. Okay. That was good. Yeah. Really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Johanna. Yes. Um, you're bringing some of your, your own stuff to this show. That's right. And uh, I, I have here, it says, uh, we're going to do a little thing called, Where in the World is Johanna Beach? Where Beecher? in the world? Where? It looks to me like you're right here. I'm here. But have you ever heard that phrase, like, when you, where in the world is your mind? Like, where's your mind gone today? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I get asked that a lot. Like, Johanna, where is your mind? What are you thinking about? Where in the world are you? Where'd you just go? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Right. Like, yeah. I might physically be here, but where, yeah. where in the world am I? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've heard that. Okay. So, all right, I'll ask. Where in the world is Johanna Beachy? All right, where in the world? Okay. Recently, and I've still been thinking about it a lot, actually, my mind has been, of all places, in Denmark. Denmark? Denmark. The Danes. The Danes. The Danish. Denmark. <laughs> I like Danishes. Danish. <laughs> The I cream haven't had cheese any Danish, Danish yet, actually. You never had a Danish? I have had a Danish, but oh. not like recently. Oh, okay. I should. I should have brought Danish. Yeah. But yeah, Denmark. Denmark. Okay. No, okay, so it wasn't about the Danish, like the pastries. I recently discovered this thing called Huga. 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 How do you say it? Huga. Huga. Okay. Which is spelled not what you would think at all. It's spelled H Y G G E. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get it? Hig. Hig. Yeah, hig. Hig. It's more of a guttural. Hig. 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 Sounds Scottish. But it's hig. Huga. Huga. Now you know how to say it. Huga. Huga. So apparently, the Danish have this thing, and I think we, you know, here in New Hampshire, we have long winters, right? <laughs> you know, it's, it's dark, it's cold, feels like it lasts forever. It does. We're, we're coming out of it now. We're in springtime now. But what I read this past winter, I've been thinking about the Danish, because apparently they have even longer winters than New Hampshire. Okay. They have like the least amount of sunshine of like anywhere in the world, Denmark. But they're incredibly happy people. Really? Why is that? Because of Huga. What's Huga? Huga is apparently this like cultural thing in Denmark where they cultivate in their homes, and as they hang out with people, comfort and coziness. <gasps> they so, cultivate yes! coziness. Okay. They create a culture more. of feeling cozy okay. and homey. Yeah. I'm like, we need that in New Hampshire. Yeah. It's really interesting. They, they like light candles all the time. It's like comfortable blankets and comfortable pillows and being home with family. Maybe a fire if you have a fireplace. Like, it's all about coziness. Huga. 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 I like it. Yeah. Cultivating coziness. Cultivating coziness. I like it. Uga. That's yeah. where my mind's been with the like, Danes. I feel like somebody should knit me an afghan that has that word that on it. That would be so huga. That's like, then <laughs> I curl up with it. Yes. Yeah, it's a good reminder. I feel well, like we should have afghans that have like the pray for one. Absolutely. Logo. I've Someone seen could knit somebody that. made, no, I've seen somebody made a blanket. I bet Victoria Major could make that. I, yeah, I think, I think she did. Didn't we have like a group of knitters? The knitting. The, the, knit, the knitters. It's funny. I think we. <laughs> I used to always joke about having like a quilting, you know, group. Maybe it was quilters. Yeah, no, I think yeah. we had some. Yeah, that's good. Knitters. Well, I love that. So where in the world? There you are. Yeah. Denmark, of Denmark. all places. I would not, would not have known that. That's cool. And you, you do have like a great worldview. Yeah. Yeah, you've I traveled so. a I lot. Have. Do you know how many yes. countries you've been to? Um, Just off. 15 or 16? 7,000. Yeah, yeah, it was 7,000. <laughs> you've, <been laughs> you've been to a number of different countries. Uh, one of the things I, Johanna... I, has helped me sometimes with uh, a broader worldview mm. in regards mm -hmm. to scripture. Oh yeah. And so sometimes I love to take like a passage of scripture I'm working on and bounce some things off Johanna. And mm -hmm. since she's been to so many different places, she gives me a different like kind of global perspective yeah. that has 
like really yeah. impacted my preaching a lot. So I love that. And so, Same. It, yeah, the way, the way I look at it is I don't have to go anywhere. I can just, just ask sure. where in the world is Joanna Beachy. <laughs> just ask me where in the world. I'll share. Here awesome. I am in the world. Right on. You're, all right. Well, we're glad you're here with us today. And okay, so I don't know if you've heard. But I've I heard have. something about, I, about calendars. Yeah, I have, this, uh, I have this daily calendar yes. that the sumstress uh, bought me. She said it was a gift. I'm not gift curse. Mm. Mm. Jury's out. Can I, can I just say yeah, please? that I really stand with Summer in the placement of this calendar? Well, I apparently do the too. The current placement. In the closet. Yes. Yeah. I would be right there. Like the confusion of the days. You don't want to be a day ahead. No. Because I tear off the no. calendar and bring it in and she's like, no. so it's been banished that. to the closet. Yes, okay. I agree. Good well, job, I'll Summer. let her know that she has your full support. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now that we're all taking sides. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your one day on the show. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, all right. So my, uh, okay. th- all right, this one, it's really interesting that we got this one for today. Uh, just checking. Okay. You're, uh, you're not dating, right? No. Not dating. Okay. Fortunately. Yeah. No, all right. So today's calendar prompt says there's an app for that. There's an app for that. There's an app for that. Okay. So we know there's an yep. app for everything. So then the, the category is dating. So it's a dating oh app. Okay. Ooh. Now I'm not promoting this app. This is the calendar. Okay. And I just bring it in, share what's on it. The name of the app is Hinge. Hinge. Okay. It says if Interesting you... Interesting choice there. Hinge, yeah. Yeah. If you would prefer... To huh. do your dating with people your friends can vouch for, oh. check out Hinge. It hooks you up with the best matches in your extended network, connecting you with friends of friends. Okay. Yeah, so it is like that your friends can vote on whether you should date that person? I don't think it's that. I think it's just they could, basically, it's what we used to call, hey man, uh, can I've you- I've got this friend. No, I would say this, like, hey man, can you, can you talk to your sister and get her roommates, oh. cousins, nephews, okay. sisters. Okay, I see. Number, because I'd really now, like to call her. There's an app for that. There's an app for that. They just okay. they kind of like connect you up. To All right, that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it would work. I don't. I uh, there's an app. I, there's an app. Of course, you know the way apps go. Yeah. This app may not exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I don't. I don't know. I certainly don't. Hinge may have become unhinged. I don't vouch for it, but I don't. Moved. I don't need it. So you can have that too. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's. All right. My way of getting yeah. rid of it. Well, so, uh, hinge. well, thanks. You know, the online dating thing, that's... Did you throw that away? I did. Okay. I don't blame you. The online dating thing. Used to be like, how'd you meet? And people would say yeah. online it was a joke. Right. And now, it's commonplace now. now. It's, I think yeah. it's the number one way that people, that people do yeah. meet. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I don't think it bothers people anymore. And, and even with the hinge thing, I mean, I think, you know, within your circle of friends, there's just sure. some ways to... I mean, like, come on. You single people, like you've never gone through your friends like Facebook page and looked at your friends of friends. I never and have. Been like, you know, he's cute. Never done it. Well, that's why you're not dating. Okay. Well, I guess so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I need a pinch. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh, so then we're done with that. You okay. threw it away. Yes. It's been removed. It's been tossed. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We also have our calendar uh, in the kitchen on the fridge. Yes. Which, which are, is it st- it's still on the fridge, right? It, stays it hasn't there. been moved? No. Okay. No, I think it's well placed. Great. And uh, it has our like, National Day. Every day is worth celebrating. So right. Today's yes. interesting. Yeah. Uh, you came okay. on a great day. Um, it's National Zipper Day. Zipper Day. Zipper Day. Zipper. Yeah. Like, like as in. Like in the zipper, like here. Like, you know, this zipper. amazing thing that has teeth and a thing. Zip- oh, that's kind of. It makes a noise. Zipper Day. Zipper Day. To celebrate zippers. I mean, the zipper's fascinating. Look, we have a video zipper, zipper day. of the zipper. Look at this. Wow. Just, look at that. You just watch that for hours. You actually could. It's like strangely engaging. It's the speed, I think. Nobody zips a zipper that slow. Like you don't usually see it that closely either. What happens when you're, when you're working the a zipper? The teeth are coming together. Wow. All right, I, I don't know a lot about zippers, like their history. I think it's cool we've got a day to celebrate them, but I did hear. What do you got? That they used to be called when they were first invented. Continuous clothing closures. Continuous clothing closures. Continuous Conti- clothing. Continuous clothing closures. So it could it could have been con- continuous clothing closure day today. Continuous clothing closure day. Zipper is a little easier to say. It's more fun. It is zipper. I'm, I let's agree say, with the Let's name say change. continuous clothing closure three times fast. Con- continuous, continuous clothing, clothing closure, closure. Continuous clothing closure. closure. Continuous, continuous clothing, clothing closure. Closure. Yeah, it's not as fun day. as zipper. No. 
Zipper, zipper, zipper. Zippity doo da, zippity day. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Yeah, it's a good day. Yeah, zippity. Zippity. Make it a zipper day. Make it a zipperific day. Today's for you, zippers. <laughs> it's ziptastic. <laughs> All right, so thanks for celebrating that with me. I, you know, I, every, I, every day is worth celebrating. It's and, true. You know, looking at these things on my own, I wasn't. I never know. So it's just really good to have other people to celebrate these days. With. I'm never gonna look at a zipper the same way again. Okay. Oh, YKK. You guys are familiar with this? The YKK. Most zippers have the words YKK. Like oh, seventy. Yeah, that's true. Seventy percent of zippers in the world are made by the YKK. So do you know company. what that is? I don't it's know. It's a that Japanese is. company, and okay. uh, it, it's a long name. YKK. YKK. Yeah. So they make so like zipper manufacturers. Yeah. Today's must be a big day for them. I'm sure they, they're probably making a lot of zippers. Right. Or maybe they're like, they close the manufacturing of zippers today and throw a party. Have you seen? Like at the plant. The Japanese work ethic? I don't think that's so. That's true. But I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's, uh, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. You guys know we have, we have Motivation Monday. Yes. We Motivation have Tuesday's, Monday. Tuesday's tips. Tuesday and tips. And Wednesday's wonder. So I'm, I'm wondering today since this is not my thing, Drew usually does right. this. I'm wondering today, what are you wondering about? What kind of wonder do you have for us? I do have something that has been filling me with wonder. Okay. And I was like, Wednesday wonder, man, this is wonderful. Mm. All right. So recently, I've been super into NASA in the 60s. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Once Now <laughs> we know again why you're not dating. Okay. <laughs> I'm yes. sorry. <laughs> I need friends of friends that are into NASA. <laughs> In the 60s. Hidden figures kind of stuff like the, yeah. the great movie. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah. No, but so guess what? This month is the 50-year anniversary of the Apollo 13 mission. Okay. The infamous Apollo 13 mission. And what I discovered is that recently NASA, they recreated and showed for us what happened on the Apollo 13 mission when they went around? So I don't know if you know the Apollo 13 mission. It's kind of infamous. Like the thing exploded halfway to the moon, and it was this whole drama, and like is that the, movie? the whole world was watching. Yeah, which that is, was based on reality. Apollo 13. It was based on reality, a real mission oh, that actually happened. And much yes. better movie now. Which is, yeah. I mean, honestly, probably one of my favorite movies. Okay. Love that movie, yeah. Apollo 13. Kevin Costner, seen that? No. No, I don't know who's in no. that. No, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks plays Jim Lovell was probably my favorite astronaut. Okay, yeah, anyway, sorry, anyway. you too, you do, okay. it's your wonder. So, they were on the way to the moon, spaceship broke, this whole drama, the whole world was watching to see if they're gonna make it back. But as a part of getting back to Earth, they went around the dark side of the moon. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. And they lost radio contact on the dark side of the moon. I remember, yeah, okay. Yeah, you remember? I remember that from the film, yeah. Okay, from the film. Yeah. You didn't, okay, you don't like remember, <laughs> remember? Look, I have a history degree from a very prestigious okay. university. Okay. So, so, so NASA recently made available what it would have looked like for them when they were going around the dark side of the moon. And I was just, I thought this was so cool. Because you, you, you only hear Wait, like the... Was it not black? Wait. No! Okay, okay we're going right. to take a look at you this. You have it? Let's it see it. It is wonderful. I we're going to take this. a look. All right, the dark the side footage. of the moon. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Was... Now you've seen the dark side of the moon. Man, you said dark side of the moon. I got excited because one of my favorite albums, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. There's that too. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. iconic artwork. Dark Side of the Moon. Great, great tunes. They probably, well, I don't know when this came out. It was probably from that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, okay. You can watch that video again later. I'm going to listen to this. I've already watched it like a whole bunch of times. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Dark we Side of the Moon. Went around the dark side of the moon. And now I think we it's know. Wonderful. Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have a commercial. Cool. Yeah, let's watch this. Awesome. Let's yeah. see it. Hey, guys. I hope you're enjoying This Is The Day. We have had so much fun producing this for you every single morning. But I know you're kind of running out of some stuff to watch. Your Netflix queue is empty. Can I suggest going to YouTube and searching Manchester Christian Church? On our channel, we have tons of content for you to enjoy. Sermons, uh, worship songs, some old funny videos that we hope you'll laugh at, and also Bo's 4-1 podcast. It's four minutes and one topic, and there's almost a hundred episodes on there for you to enjoy. So go to YouTube, search Manchester Christian Church, and make sure you subscribe and click the little bell. That'll send you notifications when new content gets added. Thanks for watching, guys. We love you. Welcome back. To hey, This Is The Day. Yeah, to This Is Day uh, with uh, Johanna here. We have a... Uh, it's time for the photo of the day. I love the photo of the photo day. Of the day. We got a little song. I like seeing what people send in. We make up the song every day, so uh -huh. yeah, don't okay. worry if you don't All know right. it. Okay. It's the photo of the day. Photo, photo of the, the day. day. It's the photo of the, the day. day. You did good. Thank you. Well done. Well Thank you. Done. I just went with it. All right, you got it's some. Uh, lead us out. What do you got here? Yeah, oh. man, there's some cool photos that were sent in. So I believe the prompt for today was fitness. 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 Give us your fitness photo. Fitness. Photos, yeah, which is a here? great one. Okay, so this first one was sent in by Amy Dodenhoff. Dodenhoff. It's a great last name, it's by cool. the way. Dodenhoff. Dodenhoff. I like it. Amy Dodenhoff. So this is Elijah and Ethan. They're twins, I think. So okay. this is them running. I, I'm kind of curious where they're running, though. It looks to me like they're running like through farm country or something. Yeah. But yeah, fitness. fitness. So e Elijah and Ethan running for fitness. I love it. Yeah, it's a great one. Cool. All right, so our next one was sent in by Heather Ambriano. Modeling fitness with kids. Yep. Check this out. So this is Eleanor and Reggie, which are there. I love these girls. Safety Shout, first. They got look helmets. Look at them. And not just any helmet. I mean, those are fantastic those are helmet. Like Those are great. Helmets, those yeah. are great. So yeah, this is sent in by Heather. Thank you, Heather. Love this that. is a great example of fitness right there. I think we have one more. Yeah, what I is this? One other one. I've, what, I don't, oh, okay. All right. All you guys right. This like is, uh, doing the YMCA? What's yeah, happening? Yeah, no. So this is, this is uh, sent in by my mom. Hi, mom. Gloria. <laughs> Um, this is me and my siblings, and we're doing some pre-hike stretching. Yeah. You know, when, you, when you're going to go on a hike, you stretch? take a minute in the parking lot and just stretch it out. That's a thing? You know, you got to limber up, get ready for the hike. <laughs> Stretching it. Yeah. That was, I've been hiking all that wrong. That was fitness. All these years. There we go. Yeah. That's Thanks cool. for sending those in. It's yeah. so cool to see that. I love seeing what you guys send in for pictures, see what you're doing, see what that word means to you. So I think the word for the prompt for today which worship. I'm really excited about worship. Worship. Not warship. <sighs> not warship. No, not we don't like, want to see like any battleships. We don't see any battleships. No. B9. You worship. saved my battleship. I love the game That's Battleships. Game. Yeah. Worship. We should play w -O -R Battleships. W-O-R. Worship. S-H-I-P. Yes. yes. Worship. What's says yeah. worship word? Worship. So whatever that word means to you, take a photo. And Find uh, a photo. You can email them if yes. you want yes. to this is the day this at manchesterchristian.com. This is the day, spell it out yep. at manchesterchristian.com. Yep. Or you can hashtag or, them. Yeah. yeah, hashtag. Yeah. We, I'm to see this is the day, worship. Yeah, we want to see those things. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, whoa. Hey, you see what I have here? What do you have? It's a union leader. <gasps> now, I have gone on record as saying that uh, I have an aversion to newsprint. Okay. I don't really right. care for the feel of it. Are you going to be able to pick it up? I am going to do it. You're going to do it? I did it. I okay. perused the news today. Uh, not Good something job. I normally do. There's a number. I was really fascinated. A lot, a lot of great things in here. Yeah. Uh, front page, first article. Golfers may soon be able to tee it up. What? Okay. You don't care, but I care. I really don't care. You care about what I care about. Oh. Like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a happy. Happy for the golfers. I'm gonna I guess. be a happy guy. Uh, you know, our our main man Drew Chris. Uh huh. He reads the to, the chuckle. The a lot. chuckle today. I'd like to have a chuckle today. Yeah, you're not getting one. All right. Um, because I. 
But next to it, he's never read this before. There's a little thing that says a small prayer. Oh, a small prayer. A, pr a small prayer, not a big prayer. I actually think this is a huge prayer. Okay. All right, this is what it says. Our conversations with you, Lord, stimulate creativity. Amen. Wow! In the union leader! What? Right there, small print, bottom of the page. Our conversation with you, Lord, conversations with you, Lord, stimulate creativity. Man, so by small prayer, they just mean that it's short. It's short. Because that prayer would last you your whole life. That's a big prayer right wow. there. All kinds of creativity. Cool. Um, and then I did, I thought this mm. was uh, pretty cool. Um, something here on the, oh yeah. It, there's a dog story. Oh, from dogs. Coming out of Tennessee, this dog re reunited with family 54 days. <gasps> after a tornado destroyed their home. There's a wow. cute little dog, Australian Shepherd named Bella. Welcome home, Bella. Oh, oh Bella I found her that. family. Yeah, I love that. Way to go, We're Union Leader, bringing us some good news. And then there's this, uh, in the comic section, uh -huh. this yeah. article. Not an article. Uh, called The Family Circus. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah. All right, we got a bunch of kids here. What's going on? And... Uh, it looks like uh, that's a whole mess of kids. You know, they, they've got fly mm. swatters, and huh. uh, they're like all over the place. The lampshades crooked. There's okay. pillows all over the floor. It looks like a lamp's been knocked down. Magazine spread out. It says that was fun. Open the door and let another one in. Interesting. Right. Yeah. Okay. I can see. Yeah. I see. I see. I I just you know, I see this. And I'm not sure who's supervising these children. Well, I think that's kind of the point. Why are they all armed with fly swatters? Like See, this? I feel like this might be a smart parenting move. To give children weapons? Well, I mean, they're, they're robber. They're, they're, you know, they're, if they hit each other with it, it'll leave a mark, but it's not going to break any bones. Okay. So, I just, they'll be fine. I don't know. I mean, like. It, like, uh, entertain the kids and take care of the flies. Well, apparently there it's was like only a two for one. there was like one fly, and they've done a lot of damage in the yeah. home. These children yeah. are clearly bloodthirsty. Most children they're, are. They're wanting to actively let another fly in the house right now, yeah. so they can do so more they can, damage. They can kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Does this not seem dark to you? I mean, it doesn't surprise me. I work with kids. I mean, I I turn to the comic section, and I'm <laughs> I'm looking for something light and jovial, and I got to deal with that. I don't. I feel like it's a, it's a little tip for parents there. Like, don't know what to do with your kids right now. Give them a fly swatter. Give them fly swatter. Yeah, they won't hit each other. <laughs> that would, that but no would. bones will be broken, most yeah. likely. Not by the fly swatter, anyway. That would never happen. Yeah, I know. Hey, uh, you're a very passionate person. It's true. Yes. Yeah, and I appreciate yeah. that about you. I really do. That's what I appreciate about you. You're very passionate. And uh, I know I can always get a response out of you. Always. Yeah, you're going to... Always have gonna, an opinion. Gonna, yeah. 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 And uh, you, uh, you have a problem. Do I? You do. All right, let's hear it. You have a problem with uh, people shortening words. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah. I'm going to let a true expert okay. give us a little daily rant. This is, this is Joe's <sighs> daily rant, not Bo's daily rant. Okay. Shortened words. Got anything for us on that? What do you think about that? Okay, Bo. Okay. Shortened and abbreviated words. Here's my thing with words like obvs for obviously. Obviously. Deaf, for definitely. Oh. I would even say legit, for legitimately. If you don't have time to say the actual word, you should just stop talking. I mean, seriously, if you can't even fit the entire word into your sentence, why are you talking at all? <laughs> If, unless you have time to say the whole thing completely and articulately, just let someone else talk and listen instead. And there's one word in particular that you have to stop abbreviating. If you are talking to a group of people, unless you are from Savannah, Georgia, you need to stop saying y'all. That is the worst abbreviation to bring to New England. That's not what we say here. We say you guys Amen. to a group of people. Regardless of gender, we say you guys. We don't say y'all up here. That's not an acceptable abbreviation. So take the time to say the actual full word in the sentence and use it in the correct cultural context. Wow. There. 
You just, I just feel like I went to school. Well, see, here's the thing. You've been doing a good job with the Daily Rant. You have. For me, it's like breathing. It means a, it means a because, lot coming from you. <laughs> well, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, wow. It's, like it's a cultural thing for New Englanders a to do true, a Daily Rant. A true master yeah. in the art of ranting. I, I am new to the it's game. my culture. New to the rant game. You yeah. brought the noise on that. Um, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you're too legit to quit. <laughs> Y'all, that's like totes fam. Hey, you know what? It's okay. <laughs> because I've never in my life said slug bug. It's punch buggy. Oh, come on. Don't start with me. You know it's a superior. You can keep saying it. You just know that, that slug bug is superior. Picks. Oh, my word. So. Okay. All right. Well, you were doing great there for a minute. And you went and totally ruined it. <laughs> that was fun. Good. Glad you enjoyed your one time. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> that was great. I didn't, you know what? I see that's what I'm saying. Like I'm from Texas where y'all's right. the thing. Y'all, y'all, y'all. You here. all yeah. No. Look, it's okay, not here. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Mm. I agree. Okay, good. Y'all is not appropriate. It's not okay. I am mm -mm. I'm 100 percent in. I've completely removed it from my vocabulary. It bothers me when other people say it. You all or we or us mm -hmm. or use something else. It's, yep. We're not going to say y'all. I don't. No. I, I agree 100%. It's not That's what I'm saying. So it, look, if I can just admit when something I grew up with is wrong, why can't the rest of you people? That's all That's I'm, what saying. I'm saying. All right. <laughs> right. Here we go. Okay. Every day with Jesus. Yes. This is the day. This Our is daily the day. devotion in 140 characters or less. Thought for the day. I hear it. Not only are we to be recipients of the kingdom of heaven. We are also to become participants mm -hmm. in building the kingdom. Yes. What a privilege. And then our verse is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 and 19. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That God mm -hmm. was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting men's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. I love that verse. I love that. Me too. This ministry, I love that our ministry is reconciliation. Right. Like to help other people be reconciled to God. Right. I think that a lot of times like Christians forget that. The church mm -hmm. kind of loses sight of that. We think our ministry is like all kinds of other stuff, but it's mm -hmm. really just reconciling people to God. Right. Like, hey, there's a God and there's you and this God loves you and he's yeah. demonstrated his love and proved his love yeah. to you. And so you can... You can be with him and just making an introduction. And right. And I love that we get to be participants in that, like it's saying. Like you're not, yeah, like you can participate uh, in reconciling people to God. We are the church. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the purpose good. of the church is to carry out the mission of Jesus. The mission of Jesus is to save the world, to reconcile the world to him. Right. Yeah. Let's do that. That's good. I'm I down. love that. You're in. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So, uh, you know, our Drew, Chris, yes. Uh, yes. co host on the show, he's a hoarder. I think that we have all come to realize that about Drew. Yeah, yes. he, he's, he's yeah. a hoarder. Uh, but so uh, he's not here, so I'm going to do mm -hmm. a little, little bow and tell. Bow and tell. A little bow and tell. Okay. Now, what I brought actually doesn't fit into the show and tell bag. Okay. So That's right. uh, I'm going to show this to you. Okay. Um, this right here is a, wow. a piece of art that hangs on the wall in my study. And uh, the sumstress painted this and gave it to me as a gift when we were dating. Wow. Uh, so I, I see this every day and it just reminds me of how creative she is and just it's one of my favorite honestly I think this is kind of weird to say but I think out of all the art that's ever been made in the history of the world I'm not exaggerating this is probably my favorite uh, work of art and so it just takes the characters from Winnie the Pooh which by the way that last film that came out about that was so good anyway yes uh, love that I cried several times uh, but Winnie we got the, the Pooh I mean yeah we got the Tigger head T I double G -er. And uh, the poo body, the poo bear body. We got a little piglet leg, a kangaroo leg, and an Eeyore tail. The Eeyore tail is my favorite. I just, like this, this is a remarkable painting. I even love her signature. I just love it. It's looks like a heart. It's very professional looking. Oh, she's very, very talented. I'm impressed by this. Yeah, me too. She's got a great eye for art. And anyway, that's, uh, you know, just something I treasure and, and look at. It's really never, never been shared except for... You know, mine. Wow, I feel like we should feel honored by this, that we got to see that painting. Yeah. That was cool. Cool, Summer. Yeah, like, she's good job. Really, she's so cool. It's creative. Yeah, well, she's definitely the cool one in the family. It's like that, uh, the small prayer, creativity. 
right yeah, there. Oh my goodness, wow. yeah, love it, yep. love it, love it, love it. And, I, and that, that was the thing is like, I was forever just convinced that I was not creative mm. at all because she is so creative. Right. Yeah. In like the typical like painting yeah. and stuff like that, right? Right. Yeah, but there's so many ways to be creative. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and she helped yeah, me. Yeah, I can't paint either. She but. helped me dis like discover that. Yeah. Yeah, she really did. She's cool. For sure. Very cool. All right. Okay. That was a good bow and tail. Thank you. It was the first one we've ever done. I liked it. I would it. say it's our we best. We should do more. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, we play uh, the game Trivial Pursuit. Yes. On the show. Yes. And the way it works is uh, Drew will draw a card uh -huh. and, and read it to me. Yep. And uh, read it to all of us. Everyone plays along right. at home. We, we ask you to make a guess. Don't worry. You're not going to yep. sound dumb. I'm, I'm going to make a guess. And you might get it right. You never know. Mm -hmm. And keep track of how many you get right. If you get all six right, you will get a fun dip. Fun and dip. I got to tell you, they taste as good as you would imagine. What are the flavors, by the way? I don't know. Okay. Uh, sugar. Well, They're sugar. Sugar, sugar That's, is the flavor. I had, yeah. uh, I had enjoyed a fun dip yesterday because I, I got all I six. I saw. Good job. Correct. Good job. Thank Do you me. think it could be two days in a row? Nope. But okay. I'm going to give right, it well. my best okay. effort. Okay, um, Bo, I have to ask a question sure. real quick before we play this. Yep. Um, just for my own clarification mm -hmm. and for those participating, especially those of us who were not born yet in 1981. I feel like this is like a shot at my age. Well, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Proceed. I just, I just have this question. Why the original 1981? Okay. When you could say that there is information in this that is now irrelevant, even incorrect. You could even call it obsolete. There, okay, yes. There are answers to questions in here that it has been updated. Okay. There's also answers to questions in here that are based on urban legend that have been proven to be wrong. Right, okay. Uh, so which, what's the appeal? Like, is I will, okay, okay, I'm getting there. I, all right, all right. I have a, oh, I have a reason. Okay. It, it's trivial pursuit. So I like that the trivial nature of it. Also, they're the best written trivia questions I have ever seen. So I okay. have many versions of the game. I've played many. Do you? Yeah, so yeah. you don't only have the 81. Right. We, okay. I, I, uh, right. A buddy and I, we play all the time. And, uh, you know, like on Fridays on my uh -huh. day off, uh, we, we play together. And I think we've probably got 10, 15 versions of the game. And uh, these, this is just the best written questions. And it's the original. Okay. And quick story, when I was a little boy. Uh-huh. Um, seven years old. Many years ago. Yeah, um, and at Christmas right. time when this game uh -huh. came out. Many, yeah, I heard that. And um, <laughs> this game came out uh, at Christmas time. My aunt and uncle and my mom and dad and all the cousins, I was the youngest, the baby, they were all right. sitting at uh, this big giant kitchen table at my aunt and uncle's ranch uh -huh. in Oklahoma. And they were playing this game. It. They were playing okay. this game. And wow. they were divided up into teams. And I wanted to be on a team. Yep. But they wouldn't let me play because I was too little and I didn't know anything. Oh. And so I was playing with this little remote control truck I had in the living room and I could hear them playing. And they had a question. It was a pink uh -huh. question. And the question was, who was the beaver? Who starred as the beaver in Leave it to Beaver? I wouldn't know that. And okay. they're all in, you know, and it was for like a piece of the pie. Uh -huh. and it was a big moment. And I knew the answer. <gasps> and I come running into the room yelling jerry mathers jerry okay. mathers and this the other all making sense and the other team is like shut up you know <laughs> he's not playing it was a big controversy and i'm like jerry mathers and uh -huh. they, they didn't believe me the team still didn't believe me they're right. like he, he doesn't right. know this i'm like barbara billingsley played the mom hugh beaumont played the dad tony dow played okay. wally like what do you want here i'm telling yeah. you yeah. jerry mathers played the beef okay and uh that so, makes sense yeah. now like i i understand i feel like it comes from I a have deep wound. Context, yeah. It comes from a deep yeah, wound. There's a history there. <laughs> Place of trauma. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks. Yeah, uh, yeah a little okay, more than well, one of that. Uh, 1981 let's do this. edition. Okay. Make a guess. All right, so you, okay. you call out the color. I'll let them know the category. Draw okay. it at random. Yep. And uh, we'll, well, no, 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 that's wait, not wait, random. Wait. Somewhere in the middle. Okay. Anywhere in the middle. I don't okay. care. Okay. Just not from an end. We'll be accused of cheating. Okay. Okay. Wait, how am I supposed to know the answer? Okay. You don't know the answer. You, you flip it over, the answer's on the back. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm figuring this out. Yeah, I mean, I am murky. Okay. okay. Blue. Blue. Geography. Okay. Uh, what city is served by Kagoshima Airport? Kagoshima? Kagoshima. How do you spell it? It's not allowed. Kagoshima? Okay, all right. I'm going to check Quickly, it. Quickly, yeah. Uh, K-A-G-O-S-H-I-M-A. -A. Kagoshima Airport. Uh, what city is served Okay. By Kagoshima. My guess is total guess, hmm. Tokyo. 
Tokyo. Tokyo, Japan. That is correct. Yes. Okay. Here we go. One for one. Okay. Moving on. All right. By the way, that's Next. seven in a row. <laughs> Okay, we'll see what happens with this one. Pink. Pink is entertainment. Which was also the color of the childhood question. Would we'll be go back so to that. great okay. if this was a leave it to okay, be okay. question. Uh, what film no. featured dueling banjos? What film featured dueling, dueling banjos? Dueling banjos. My answer is Deliverance. That makes eight in a row. Yes, you correct got it. Mundo. Yes, okay. All right, let's keep this going. Yellow. Yellow is history. I love history. Me too. All right, let's see. What's Richard Nixon's middle name? Richard Nixon's middle name. Hmm. Millhouse. Nice! Boom shakalaka, let's go. All right, okay. I did not know that. Okay, brown. Brown is uh, art and literature. What's the meaning of the Latin battle cry, ad arma, ad arma? Ad arma, ad arma. Ad arma, ad arma. Two arms to arms? You are correct. Let's go, here Ooh. we go. All right, okay. that's 10 in a row. All right. I feel like that, I'm okay. Yeah, uh, that was kind of obvious. Ad arma, yeah. ad arma, two yeah, arms to arms. arms, okay. Green. Green is science and nature. Which of the five senses is less sharp after you eat too much? <laughs> All of them, but hold on. <laughs> Which of the five senses is less Which sharp? Which of the five senses is less okay. sharp after you eat too much? Well... This is actually useful information. Yeah, I think so. I mean, taste and smell are so closely related. Uh, I don't even know if it's one of those. I will say after you eat too much. After you eat too much, which of your senses is less sharp? Taste seems like the obvious choice, but maybe smell... Do you want to go obvious? Um, or? My answer is smell. Taste? That is incorrect. Taste? It is hearing. Hearing? What? Hearing! What? what? We were on a roll there. Okay, all right. Okay. I'm a little sad now. Hearing. Hearing, okay. All right. Uh, red. Red is, uh, no, it's orange. Orange. So it's like this no looks red. No. I don't know what well, 81 considered to be. Well, we're mad at orange for cutting us out as a sponsor. Orange. So call it red. Jeez. In 81, apparently this was orange. Yeah, it's uh, uh, sports and leisure. Okay. All right. What drink is made up of rum, coconut milk, and pineapple? Rum. Rum. Coconut milk. Coconut milk. I'm going to go with uh, the pina colada. The pina colada is correct. I like pina coladas. Okay. Uh, wow. Yes. All right. Five out of six. Was, I mean, that was good. If somebody got, that, I feel like I feel like there are a lot of people who got all. I got five right. I don't know about the today. hearing thing. I didn't know the Richard Nixon one. No house. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. So if you got all six right, let us okay. know. We will uh, mail you a fun dip and uh, get that sent right off to you. Okay. Yeah. Um, Johanna. Yes. So. I, I want to move on to uh, something I'm looking forward to here with you. Okay. Um, we're calling it the the bookworm corner. Yes. Where you're you're a voracious reader. A voracious reader. A little is that, bit is that obsessive. the right word? Yeah. I almost said ferocious. Fero I mean, I'm a ferocious <laughs> and a reader too, so that works. I know. Also. I know. Yes. It's like yeah. That feels a little too true. Yeah. Uh, voracious. Yes. Reader. That, that's you, a word. Yeah. yeah. You love the books. I love books. Have since I was a kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to yeah. give us today, just today, Okay. Uh, the top three book recommendations you have for today, this day. For today. Okay. Thank you for adding that. Yeah. Not all time. Picking three is, is hard. Just but for today, three for today, okay, yeah. I have some book recommendations for today, for today that I would like to share with you. This first one is a very well-known author. He's a classic. He's, oh, I love his books so much. I've learned so much from them. I really appreciate them. And many people know C.S. Lewis mm -hmm. for Narnia. Great book series, yep. right? However, not enough people know that C.S. Lewis actually has a space sci-fi trilogy. And this book is the first one I'm recommending. It is called Out of the Silent Planet. And it is fantastic. Space Trilogy by C.S. Lewis. Can I call a timeout? Yes. Can I see that? You can. I share books. It's so good. It's so good. It is so good. So I you've just, read it. I, oh my, have I read it? Yes, several okay. times. Okay. I, 
I just have to say, so C.S. Lewis is probably my favorite all-time yeah. author. Fantastic. And I never read anything really sci-fi, hardly mm -hmm. at all. And I stumbled across this trilogy and, I mean, just, okay, so you know how, okay, take that back. Yes. You know how, like, we have, we have God in a box? Right. And everybody's mm -hmm. like, well, yeah, you got mm -hmm. out of the box. Well, I mean, the, the box is kind of our perceptions of what we can understand. Yeah. Yeah. After I read these books, my God box grew exponentially. Yes. So Same much bigger. Same thing happened to me. Ah, I know. Yes. It's so good. And like the scriptures. Yes. That I, and, and it's, it's, it's sci-fi mm. space trilogy. Yeah, so like, they're just enjoyable. They're like, oh. you know, fiction reads, but that's exactly what it is. You learn Amazing. so much. Yeah. Amazing. Also, the guy's name in it when the characters, Ransom. 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 Great book. Such a cool name. Yeah. Okay, that's my first one. Okay. Um, the second recommendation that I have for you, I don't have the physical book with me because I got it from the library. Mm. Love libraries. That's still all a thing? The time. It, it is still a thing. There's libraries? Many people use them, actually. <laughs> yes. Oh. Meaning me, but. <laughs> <laughs> Love my library. Can't go there right now, but I'll be there as soon as it's open again. So I don't have it physically with me because I return it to the library. But my second book recommendation, it's a nonfiction one, but it is riveting. It's called The Boys in the Boat. And the it's boys literally, in the boat? yeah, The Boys in the Boat. Okay. Yeah, boys, boys in the boat. Yep. And it is about the 1936 American rowing team. Okay. Rowing, like stroke, <sighs> stroke, <sighs> stroke. Yes. Yeah. Which okay, this is this is how amazing this book is because I am not into rowing at all. Mm -hmm. Not 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 at all. I've never don't go in boats that often. Like whatever rowing. I got so into this book. It is so well written. It's got history and drama, and it's like you just get sucked into their stories. Like honestly. There were parts of this book where I cried. I actually cried thinking like, rowing is like life and we're all in the boat together and we're a team and like we have to pull together and we'll get there and accomplish our goals. And like, you just have to read the book. I feel like it's, I just did. It's so good. I got the Boys Johanna the notes yeah. on that. I'd recommend I'm inspired. that one. Five star book, that mm. one right there. Boys in the Boat. Yeah. Okay, my third one, I gotta, I gotta throw in a kid's book. Do like, you know? okay. I do. I love kid's books. They're awesome. I love reading because of the books that I read as a kid. So this one is one of my favorite kid's books. It's called Colorful. Here's the thing. One of the things I absolutely love about kids is that they will have any conversation. They'll just go there. They're not afraid of it. They're not holding back. So they will just, you know, why does your face look like that? They'll just ask those questions. They're not afraid of it. So they'll ask <laughs> things like... Why is that person's skin color different from mine? Okay, so you like them just because they make I, you feel more normal. Right, exactly. Okay. I fit in with them. <laughs> why does your face look is. like that, Bo? I'm sorry, because I just woke up. I'm why, sorry. Why is he see-through? Kids would just ask that Translucent. question. Translucent. Okay? Translucent. Not quite see-through. Translucent. So this book is this awesome resource for having conversations with kids about things like God's creativity when, creativity, when he made people. Yeah. So it's called Colorful. The whole thing is like self celebrating the colors that God gave us when he created people. Yeah. So the whole idea is like, we don't have to be colorblind, we can be colorful mm. and celebrate that because there's like being colorblind is silly. We don't want to like ignore what God has created. So I love this one. I actually got to meet the lady. I sat in a class. What's her name? Who wrote this? Dorina Williams. Dorina Williams. So thank you, Dorina. This is my recommendation. It's actually the first in a series of three. Yep. They're very good. So kids books, colorful. Sweet. That's the one. Love that. Those are my three for today. All right. For this is the day. Those are, those are cool. Thank you. You're welcome. And I could just go on and on. Keep it. Well, we're not gonna. Yeah, we'll stop there. You <laughs> hey, have because to stop me. it's uh, it's time for a little segment we do on this show. Yep. Where silly songs with Larry? No. Nope, not, nope, that, not one. that one. No, not that one. No, where we uh, take a look at uh -huh. last week's sermon. Do you know what we call this? We call it sermon. I think we call it sermon r r r r remix. There it is. Out of way. <laughs> Let's check this out. I want to encourage you, be aware. Be aware of what generates anger in you. Pay close attention to these emotions. And so when you feel anger start to rise up, I, I'm not telling you to like, like suppress it and push it down even more because we keep doing that. Eventually the pressure is going to be so much, it, it will spill out. And then it's like an explosion of anger. So instead, when we begin to feel angry, let's grab a hold of that and say, okay, what am I experiencing right now? This isn't how I want to feel. This isn't going to be useful or productive. And so if I'm going to be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry, I want to grab this right now and pay attention to why I'm feeling anger. 
And so if we go a little bit further into the book of James, it gives us uh, the reason for what causes this anger in us. It's it, our outward expressions of anger always come from a disturbance within. And so in James chapter four, verse one, it says, what causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? You desire, but you do not have, so you kill. You covet, but you cannot get what you want. So you quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. And when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. You see, there's something that we want. There's something we desire that isn't there. There's something missing. And instead of going to God and, and trusting him and being quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry, we've got this distance between us and God that we've created. And now that anger that is gonna come out of us, this quarrel and fighting, this, this distance that we're making from our, our being short-tempered and having a short fuse, what's happening is it's coming from what's battling within us. There's a lack of peace in here that is now bubbling out of me. You see, when there's no inner peace, there can be no outer peace. Hmm, yeah. Bo, yeah. in all honesty, this message was so good for me this past week. Really? Yeah. Okay. This, this issue, I have an issue with anger, mm. truthfully. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So, man, a lot of stuff you were talking about, it was just, whew, it was good reminders. It was what I needed to be thinking about right now. That whole idea of like, hey, be aware of what generates anger in you. Mm -hmm. Man, it was good. And I, I mean, I was seeing the comments from people too, you know, you know watching with people, attending online with them. And it was just hitting home for people. And okay. I was definitely one of them, so. Good. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. um, the, the anger issues, and I, I think all of us, we deal with them. And I, I do wanna to touch on that, but yeah. it's, certainly it's, it's on the rise mm -hmm. in, in our world. And we're, mm -hmm. and we're gonna encounter it more and more. And so I would just encourage all of us, be aware of that, that um, when somebody snaps at you or their fuse yeah. is short, don't, I, I would just say, if you're not as surprised by that, you kind of know it could happen. Mm -hmm. Um, you might be in a better position to be gracious and kind right. and loving right. and gentle. That's what we need. Yeah, we yeah. need a lot more of that. So, yeah. um, and that's, yeah. that's maturity, that's strength. It is. To go, yeah. I, I don't have to respond to anger with anger. Right. I don't have to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's good. And then this idea too that um, what causes fights and quarrels among you? James is so right. practical and just <gasps> love that. You read love it. Yeah, what James. causes yeah. fights and quarrels among you? It's easy to kind of gloss over that and be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It, like this is huge. Yeah, like, this like is, pay attention. Yeah, yeah. earth shattering, mm -hmm. kind of mind blowing. Yeah. You know, help you understand uh, how we're made and created. Right. What causes fights and quarrels among you? Because we always say, well, it's the external circumstances. Why am I mad? Because yeah. she did that, because he did that, because yeah. this is happening. Yeah. No, no, what causes fights and quarrels among us? Mm -hmm. It's in here. Right. And when there's no inner peace, there can be no outer peace. Exactly. You just can't. Yeah. And so whenever you know, we find, okay, I'm in conflict with this person, I'm upset with this organization, mm -hmm. I'm been out of shape about mm -hmm. this, you, know, it, you start track, tracing that down, you start looking, you're gonna find a common denominator and all the things we're angry about, and it's always me. Yes. It always comes back to me, and that's because there's no inner peace. Right. And if there's peace with God, peace with his Holy Spirit, uh, peace with what he's doing in you and allowing the fruit of the Spirit to come out of you, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, right. faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. <sighs> wow. Okay, now, now we can really be delivered and yeah. freed um, from that anger that, that so easily yes. captivates us. Yes, I love that. I love that too. Yep. It's good, good. good stuff from God. Yep, it really is. All right, I, I have an announcement to make. Apparently, we had somebody get all Ooh, six of these okay. correct. All right, um, we've got a I, fun dip winner. It is. I, I mentioned a friend earlier that I play Trivial Pursuit with, yes. and he claims to have gotten all six right. His name okay. is Bill Mitchell. Bill Mitchell. Bill Mitchell. I'm not going to question his integrity. How hey. in the world? No, I just am very impressed. I won't do it. I won't question his integrity, but how in the world... I'm a fan of Bill because he helped my NASA interest. He loaned me books, so I'm gonna believe him if he says he got them. He, <laughs> you, well, he, you eat a lot and you can't hear, apparently. So, um, sure, sure. How do you think Bill knew that? I don't know. I'm okay. not gonna well, comment on that. Don't right. say, well, you set me up there. <laughs> ha, I see what you did there. Bill, did you see what you did there? Just Bill, asking. this, I mean, this fun dip's for you. We'll get that to job, you. Good job, Good job, Bill, way to go. Fun hey, winner. great job today. Hey, thanks for letting me be 
here. Oh my goodness, what a... So much fun! Yeah. Way to go. Way to go. I hope good. you all enjoyed getting to hang out with uh, Johanna today. And, I uh, sure did. Yeah, and uh, we'll have you back if you're willing. Cool. Yeah. And um, yeah, Drew will be back tomorrow for yes. a Thursday edition of he This will. Is The Day. And the giggle will be back. The giggle will be back. Make it a great day, and we'll catch you on the flip side. We do this. Yep.